بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ندر سیشن آن اوریکل کلاؤڈ سروسز ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹرائی ٹو کور اوریکل ایپیکس ان آٹونامس ڈیٹا بیس سو ایف یو سی ہیئر دس از مائی ہوم پیج اور جسٹ ڈیمو اپلیکیشن ویر آئی ہیو دس ڈیش بورڈ آف ٹو چارٹس وی کین کریٹ مور چارٹس ایز ویل اینڈ آف ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس ایز ویل ایف آئی کلک ہیئر uh there is a sales entries i can create i had created this form so you can edit your data from here uh delete or you can create more records right this is how it is uh i uploaded this data around 10000 records uh, using uh, data load functionality this is how it is here so i uploaded the file and this is standard functionality of oracle apex which you can use for downloading excel a csv data or file to your table this i will try to cover in another video so it will not confuse uh, our uh, objective of today's session so it's uh, sales entries this i will be showing how to create and then uh, this uh, dashboard uh, charts okay <clears throat> what i will do let me come here and i will create another application just to show you how you can create okay in order to access to uh, apex you will come to your atp uh, autonomous uh, transaction processing and then you will click this service console then this page will appear and then you will click this development and then apex so then this uh, apex will open right so this was the navigation okay now i will create another application create new application and here i will put sales app 2 okay and we'll proceed okay so by default these are created uh, let me create the page first where i will click form and report with form and then i will say sales report and here i will say sales entry next and navigation i will select parent as a home so it will be under home and here i have to select the table just see how uh, fast and quick development is uh, there in this apex that's why it is called app application express oracle application express so it's a shortcut uh, apex ap for application and uh, ex is for express it's quick okay my form is created data entry form is ready so autonomous will take maybe few minutes to be created deployed uh then it will take few minutes to create your first application okay now let me log in so this is our sales report you can change these headings names whatever is there okay now here you can change the way it was there and here you can create new one you see so if i will have to modify i can click here okay or i can create from new records from this create button okay it has this uh, few more uh, functions over here you can even create pivot table here on the screen itself you can download to excel data you can format the control breaks or whatever because this is sort of report um, <coughs> interactive report okay and then you can sort you can compute you can aggregate 
flashback filters filters are there columns are there you can hide columns you can whatever okay now let us create two charts i will go to home folder uh, sorry home page uh, here home page and then let me remove this breadcrumb i don't need it this was showing on the top so i will delete it i don't need it okay okay now here you will come to chart then right click add to i will put con content body okay this is now created so this one okay wait i will see here uh, sales by categories right and then i will come to series and here i will say this is a query and let me put it like here select category category comma sum of amount from sales a sales transaction trx group by category that's it and if you have any where condition that you can put it over here okay or if you have any parameters okay now we have two messages where i have to select the label category and value and save now if i will refresh uh, my this application 2 which is the new one and will click home so my chart is ready okay now let me create another chart so here i will click here again add to content sales by category this is our existing chart and column after right okay now to this i will put heading sales by region okay and then i will come to series and here i will say again sql and select region sum of amount from sales transaction group by region okay and down i have to select uh, all label and the value save okay now i will refresh it excellent so this is uh, if you see down we have the categories and here we have these regions okay okay let me change this here uh, regions i will put it there so you uh, this is how you can modify regions right done okay now if you want to change uh, let's say for example i will change for this regions uh, here you have different options if you see here okay orientation here it is vertical i will put it horizontal right let me see how it is now okay so how quick it is now let me create one more uh, pie chart uh, which i will make let's say for example same uh, sales by category just to show you okay uh, category sorry here mm, here this one right okay now this one okay now this uh, content body i will click after sales regions after or even i can click on the column after let's see or i can put it row after as you like i will say column after that will change it later if you want to okay right so here it is let me <coughs> P 
pie chart just i'm giving the name it's a pie chart okay okay now let me come to this uh, my series and i will select here query and i will put the same query here uh, and here my label and the value right and in attributes okay uh, let it get completed i will see first how it will look like where what will be the location then we'll see okay excellent now the pie chart one i uh, i will change it i have clicked the attribute and uh, here i will select pie save it's just like easy like excel see how the dashboard is ready okay you can remove this uh, hide this uh, navigation bar by clicking here so now it is full screen almost okay you can uh, create more charts below here let me create one so this time i will be creating uh, let's say for example this is the pie chart and let me see as you see here there is a option start new row so i will click here start new row so pie chart will go to the next next row okay excellent now just wanted to show you how it can happen right see now it is up to you what kind of charts you want what uh, what should be the layout it is up to you now right okay i think now uh, it's a good introduction uh, uh, to start with uh, oracle apex objective was uh, how easy is to deploy uh, an application uh, i mean i will say not only deploy even develop an autonomous database uh, which is uh, totally managed by oracle itself you don't need to worry about anything backups nothing uh, performance patching everything will be by oracle team automatic okay <clears throat> this is how you can access or you can save the url right and you can create your application this is a sample i created like with the line you can create it here like here up to you different right there are two tips there are grids over here you can change those grids if you want the way you want like here it is now totally up to you all right uh, i hope this is enough uh, today and the good news is uh, oracle already announced uh, that uh, autonomous with the uh, oracle apex uh, they will be providing for free but yes there will be some limitation on space and processors but yes it will be free forever so you can even uh, develop small applications uh, the the good point is it is autonomous database and it, you can connect to your on premises databases as well uh, i will share with you the link how to create db link from autonomous to your database uh, using ssl certificates so it's secure as well so automatically it will uh, take data from your uh, local database which is in your uh, own office in cloud and you you are ready with your uh, dashboards right thank you very much allah hafiz